Good afternoon from the Go Local Live Navigate Credit Union Broadcast Center here in a very, very warm Providence. Earlier I was doing a promo out on the sidewalk with uh, Kate Nagel talking about both our shows today, and I cannot wait at this point to get my pool open. So in the next few weeks, all you're going to hear me talking about is broadcasting live from the pool. I'm going to do whatever I can to convince Josh Fenn to let me do a broadcast from my pool. I'll be pushing that envelope like there's no tomorrow. So today, as promised, we've talked the last couple of weeks about doing a segment that was for Mother's Day planning. And... If you haven't got into doing it for Mother's Day, there's only 11 days left. So I'm hoping that the guests I have today will not only tell us the great things they have going on in their establishments, but will encourage you to make your reservations to get your mom out. So at the end of this segment, I won't be the one getting in trouble to be you guys if you haven't made those Mother's Day plans. So to let you know about the guests that I have today, I'll do a quick recap of who we've got coming in. We added a special guest at the end of the segment who's going to be Skyping in. Uh, and that was just recently a couple hours ago. But... Joining me in just a minute is going to be Kate Roberts, and she's coming in from Easy Entertaining. It was probably over a year ago that I had her in. She was one of my very first guests, and I was very appreciative of that, and she's been a great friend and runs a wonderful, wonderful place over there. So we have a lot to talk about with her in addition to Mother's Day. Then I've got Chef Matthew coming in from Jamestown Fish, and I actually got to spend time with him last week at Easy Entertaining at an event. So another great chef that'll be joining us. And then finally, Chef Ralph coming in from Luigi's. Now, Luigi's has been in business for over 40 years, so we're gonna talk about their family history, their traditions, and of course, what they have going on for Mother's Day. And then the final guest that'll be Skyping in for us is Chef Two, who is a contestant from last season's Top Chef. So I'm very anxious to talk to him about his experiences on Top Chef, as well as what he's got coming on in Rhode Island. He's gonna be here in a couple weeks, um, and I'm gonna surprise him by having uh, the Chef de Cuisine from Jamestown Fish come in and join us, Alex, who's also here. And Alex is a friend of his, and that's how we were able to bring all this together. So we're gonna make a little uh, connection between the three of us at the end of the show today. So to get things started, I wanna welcome in my friend Kate, and we'll get going talking about Easy Entertaining. Hey, Hi, good. You? Thank you for making Thank it in. Thank you for having us. So I, lately I've actually got to see her more often because of you reopening. And then last week you had that awesome event yeah. with Eat, Drink, R.I. And congratulations again yeah. to David and his team. But that was um, that was new. That was a new event, right? That was new. I think it, did you have fun? I thought it was fantastic. I had so much fun. I actually had a hangover the next day. Well, so then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was more than a taste for Rick. It was more than a taste for <laughs> And Chef Matthew, I was joking with him, and he's coming in. That I went to his table four times. Oh, so that's where that's, yeah, that, that was the problem. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, okay. I was problem. I did his. He okay. had this. I don't even remember what it was, but I, it was tasted amazing. This little appetizer you prepared. So yeah. I had to visit the table a few times. So it was delicious. It was great. But you did a great job hosting it. David and his team did a great job producing it and bringing it in there. So it was that a lot was of fun. fun. I hope they do it again next year. I do year. too. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. So we got some cool things that have been going on with you at Easy Entertaining. Yeah. So let's start out with that. Tell us what's been happening recently. Yeah. So we did a big renovation over the. Winter. And what we did was we opened the space up a little bit more, maintained kind of the whole field building, the old moldings, and redid the floors, expanded our kitchen. That was a big deal for right. us. Um, and so now we are back open for events again and um, booking a lot of baby showers, bridal showers, all these kinds of fun lady things. But yeah. also, you know, evening work events, things like the, the event that you went to. Yeah, different kind of things. Um, and so it's a lot more, it's just a little bit lighter, I would say. You know, we changed some of the painting and all that kind of stuff that goes with it, but we, we hope people like it. I thought I, the space was completely amazing because you opened up the side. Yeah, we opened up the side. And then you end. showed me that there was actually a little room for smaller events, right? For yeah, we have a smaller kind of boardroom, if you will, in the back that can hold up to 18, 20 guests. If you want to have a private luncheon, private right. breakfast, um, you know, just like a small, something where the doors close and you can have some quiet. Because yeah. the cafe can get pretty loud during No, lunch. I thought it was great. And yeah. one of the things I, I want to mention because it was coming up in some of the questions is that for a location in Providence, which you are, and a, and a great spot that you've been over there now for a while, there's parking. There's, there's parking. actual parking. There's to be free able to... off-street parking for right. like literally hundreds of cars. We yeah. have parking across the street, parking next to us, and that's awesome for all of us on Valley Street because we have some a bunch of friends on Valley Street now, and we all can offer parking, which is so great. And that area, and I think to your credit as well, and we talked about this last year when you joined us, is that that area keeps improving and coming yeah. up more and more, and I think that people like you being dedicated to it has been a big part of that, yeah, so we, congratulations. We love it, thank you. And it's funny, I noticed one thing because of the renovation, because I loved it, and I'm probably the only one that oh, noticed it. <laughs> you're the second, you're <laughs> I'm the, the second person. <laughs> you're the second person, in, but the stairs. The stairs, I, the stairs. I used to love the staircase that was there, and you always had to decorate it with something. Yeah. So the staircase is actually behind a wall. Behind Right. a wall now we had to it was 
We didn't have much of a choice, but we had this old wrought iron staircase that actually went to a nowhere. It went to the <laughs> attic, to but you couldn't access it. So um, the stairway to heaven, yeah, as we so call you didn't it. Need it. So anymore. we blocked it in. And then outside, courtyard-wise, the courtyard is still being yeah. action, right? Yeah. Especially with the weather like today. Yep. We just um, we're just about to put in our cedar gardens for the summer. So Ooh. lots of vegetables and you know all that kind of stuff. There's a strawberry patch out there. It's really cute. It's wonderful. So now you have this awesome team that you've put together. And you guys are very community focused. You're very involved in a lot, a lot of things. In addition to your catering and all the partnerships you have, I know now you're even catering at uh, the pavilion down yeah, the street, right? Yeah, beautiful. It's a brand new venue. It. Check it out. So everybody's seen me posting there, but this is one of the caterers that you can yeah, call that can help you out great. there because it's a gorgeous venue. But the you had the March of Dimes, right? I do. Chef of the. We do a lot for March of Dimes, and so this year. Um, I'm the March of Dimes Chef of the Year at the Signature Chef's Auction, awesome. which is so exciting. That's congratulations. Um, That's so really cool. we're excited to um, help kind of fundraise through that awesome event that they have, which is our Signature Chef Auction. Each year, you can taste food from the most amazing restaurants in the state all in one place on Very one cool. night yep. with amazing wine and drinks, and, and you're helping babies. Like, a, right. What else can we say about all this? Absolutely, no, it's a wonderful thing. And I know that there was some information on your Facebook and I saw stuff the March of Dimes put out there. So please check it out because you're yeah. supporting a fantastic cause and you've got a wonderful person that they've chosen to lead it off this year. So congratulations Thank again on that. You. And then I want to talk about another event before we get to Mother's Day because I'm already eyeing the cocktails that <laughs> you brought over here. So tell us about this upcoming getting into all these events now. So the pink, the pink party. party, right? Pink party. Yep. This just went out yesterday. So we're doing a pink party on June 7th, it's Thursday. And this is really just because it's close to my birthday and oh. I love rosé. Yeah, me too. But so you can come and have a ticket. We're going to have between somewhere between 10 and it, well, it's actually more looking like between 15 and 20 different rosés at this point. Really? I'm there. Yes. Kind of All different kinds. So, you know, even rosé cider, um, you know, still rosé, sparkling rosé, and you'll get a glass at the beginning of that, kind of like Psalm Smackdown. Yeah, down. there we go. You'll taste at different kind of tables. We'll have hors d'oeuvres passing, a cheese table, a dessert table, and it's just to kind of kick back and relax. The caveat is yeah. you have to come dressed in your best pink. Oh, that's easy for me. And there is a winner for men's wear and women's wear, really? and you will get some awesome prizes. Hmm. I so, think I might have to go to and this. you can buy tickets on the website. So, no, wait, this gives me an awesome idea. Do you guys do gift certificates? We do gift certificates, and you could buy one for Mother's Day. There, you, see, she took my idea. That was my idea. <laughs> if you know that, your mom likes rosé, I think a lot of moms like rosé. I yeah. think a lot of moms wish they were drinking more rosé. Yeah, so true. that could be an awesome gift idea. There you go for June seventh to do that. Yeah. Very cool. So then let's talk about it because. 11 days away, a lot of people are telling Mother's me they haven't Day. even thought about making the Mother's Day oh reservations. Yeah. So tell us what you guys have going on. And first of all, tell me about the cocktail. Yeah, right yeah. The cocktail. So, so this is one of the cocktails that we have at the cafe normally, but is featured on Mother's Day. So this is a yuzu plum liqueur from Japan with our house-made lemonade. Super, nice. like, perfect for a day like today. Not too sweet. Right. So cheers. cheers to you. A little Thank frozen you. blueberry in there. Oh. oh, I could drink this in the entire right? show. That is amazing. It's not super high alcohol. And it's so, not super so sweet bottoms either. up. <laughs> I know. <laughs> mm. But we're going to have these. I'll keep sipping while she's talking. Um, we're going to have these, a bunch of other drinks, but we're doing a Mother's Day brunch buffet. So we're doing three seatings, a 9, 11, and a 1. And we're going to kind of put all of our favorite stuff together. So we're going to have everything from fried chicken, omelet stations. Um, awesome. We'll have some pancakes, all of our signature baked goods. We brought some fresh biscuits here for you. We'll have Yay. those for the fried chicken, also for sweet jam. We got some blueberry jam here. We're bringing in bagels from our friends at Rebel Artisan. Beautiful. So we'll, if you, if you want to take mom out, but give her those amazing, wonderful bagels, we're going to have them there. So you said three seatings, all right? Three seatings, nine, 11, and one. And I know that the one is getting a little bit full, so you're going to want to call. So move quick. Move swiftly. Or just get your day started out right, make mom happy, be there at 9 a.m. Yeah, right. Do that. <laughs> but that's awesome. So you got three seatings. You're going to set it up as a buffet style for everyone, yep. which makes it super comfortable for people to move around and do yeah. it. And then parking, we already talked about over there, is good to go. Easy. Can people make reservations? Just call them? Yep, just cafe? call the restaurant. Okay. We'll take your reservation. We'll have everything there for you, coffee, donuts, anything you could think of. So there's something for everybody. So we talked about the June 7 thing, which I think, again, is an awesome idea for a gift certificate. And actually, you can buy it while you're there and then look like a real hero while you're right. finishing up the brunch. Wrap it up. But is there, throughout the summer, you guys do periodic things like this, right? Yeah, we do. So you can you can always check out, we have current events on our um, website, upcoming events rather, not current events, it's not fifth grade. <laughs> um, and so we list them on there, like we have classes and things like that. Lately, 
I don't know if other chefs have noticed this, Pan Asian has been like a huge yeah. trend. So we've been teaching like ramen classes and dumpling classes, and those are all on so there. So that's another awesome idea. Yeah. You could buy some classes. You, you could can buy, buy some gift certificates and do can. classes. You can. Yeah, and you can do all of it right online, or you can give us a call. We'd love to hear from you. Fantastic. So before I let her go, I want to talk a little bit about the catering side of things because it's become so big. Yeah. Um, we, we were talking before this that you've got some upcoming catering jobs going on in conjunction with a lot of different events and people. But from the catering perspective, someone can hire you to have an event at Easy Entertaining. Yes. Or you can go pretty much anywhere. Yes. Okay. Most, uh, most of our work is um, off-site to date simply because you can do multiple events off-site at the same time. Okay. And, you know, there's only one cafe. But that being said, we have a whole line of... Um, catering that's called drop in styles it's a big thing now okay so if you're not looking for the whole staff the whole chef everybody in your house but you want it to look really nice and presentable and beautiful and have that kind of easy entertaining air we'll come set it up style it and then we come back at the end and we take it all away and clean it I so like that they style it that's even magic that's right you don't cool. have to have your platters or anything like that and it works really well so one of the questions that I had and revolved around catering and actually the, the restaurant as well is that Things like this, mm -hmm. though, your drinks and your cocktails, mm -hmm. and what, you, you are very, you have trips, so that's the other thing I want to mention about, you have these trips. Oh, yeah. So, but you guys are very creative in the style of what you're doing oh, things. So people are asking the questions of if they give you ideas of an ingredient they like, can you guys mm -hmm. kind of try to come up with things for them, sure. pair up some of the wines, yeah. that kind of stuff? Easy. Okay. I mean, we love, we love pairing things together. Um, beer dinners are really big right now, so sure. now we're getting like lists of beers and tasting those and then kind of working backwards into food that works with them. I like that. Um, but yeah, absolutely, like a jumping off point. We have some people that really like certain cheese or you really want to use a certain cut of meat and then we can kind of work from there. So and then, then of course there's regular menus right. you can pick from. But so the key is don't be afraid to ask. So that one of the oh questions, yeah, sure. you know, if they're like talk, talking about this cocktail and creating it for Mother's Day, yeah. don't be afraid to ask because she has a fantastic team. You're the chef that you had the night she was out the other night when I was there. I love her. She's hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> Chef Ashley, she's she's about to have her second baby now. I know. Um, but yeah, she's she's a go-getter for sure. I mean, she, very creative with food and drink, so we're no, excited she's, to have She's this. super talented. So shout out to you, Chef. Um, and then last before we go, let's talk about the trips because you've done a couple trips. of these trips. Is there anything new coming up with them? Yeah, so um, I partner with um, the Savory Grape and we do trips back to Italy. So we do the Piedmont region and Tuscany. Unfortunately, they're sold out for this year, but we will do them again next year and we'll, we'll announce those probably near term. But we go and we just, it's really, just food and wine. We don't. We What's can't. What's wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> just much food on and wine. Anything else? But it's a bunch of vineyards, and we integrate um, a lot of the food that's relevant to the areas that we're in. And then you get to stay in these amazing villas. The pictures are unbelievable. If you go onto Facebook, both on Jessica's site and yours, yeah. the pictures of you guys being there are, will make you jealous for sure. So oh, yeah. if you're not, and I've said this for Jessica too in the past, that if you're not on any of their lists or their email yeah. lists or their databases. That's the way you get the information. So make sure you sign up to get out there and check yeah. it out so when they're coming out. But thank you for making the time today. I'm going to eat one of these biscuits and finish this when I get off. Yeah. So this yeah, looks, yeah. I'm, we'll yeah, because I'm going to want to spill all over myself. Mm. So Drink it all. Right? <laughs> I will. But yeah. thank you for making the time to come in. I really thank appreciate you, it. It was friend. great to see you. It was so good to see you. Well, hopefully thank we'll you see you again soon. Us. Absolutely. Take these. Yeah, put you that on leave there. Me? Well, you never know. You might need it. Taylor will find a cup for me. All right. Thanks, Kate. Thanks, Rick. So easy entertaining. A lot of great information. So beyond the brunch, you got some gift certificate ideas for whether it's for the classes or for the June seventh pink party that's coming up that they're doing. So you got a lot of great stuff to think about for them. So great updates, Mother's Day stuff. You're in good shape with Easy Entertaining. Next, I want to welcome in Chef Matthew from Jamestown Fish, um, who I was complimenting from the other night. Hey, Chef, good to Hi, see you again. How are you? Oh, and he My comes with wine. Of course, wine. Oh, look at this. Menus, whatever we wine can. Wine kind of thing here. How look are at you? this. Thanks good to for see having you. me. Thanks for great. making it. I appreciate it. Hold on one of second. Of course. Wine, I'm not going to be in bad shape today. You want Bianco. Rosso. All right, we're in good shape. So as I was mentioning, the other night I got to spend some time with the chef at Easy Entertaining. Look at this. White well, asparagus? A couple of new appetites. Yeah, oh, I know you love those. Loving that. <laughs> awesome. So thanks for making the time again and coming down. Thank you. And I know we're going to surprise Alex and have him come in a little bit towards the end here. Yes. But I got great. to see the chef the other night at Easy Entertaining at the Sommelier Smackdown that was done by You Drink Our Eye. Tell me what it was because I went to your table four times. <laughs> well, we did a little, a little. We wanted to highlight the white asparagus that are in that are in season since it's spargel season, as they say in okay. uh, in Austria. Uh, so we just did a spring medley with all kinds of peas and fiddlehead ferns and fava beans and is. and just a delicate uh, champagne vinaigrette to go with the wine, the Gruner Veltliner that we served the other night. Yeah. 
Yeah. So one of the things that I want to get to, and I'm going to have the chef give a whole overview on his restaurant, but if you look at all the pictures and talk to people that have been there, the European style, the European flair yes. that you put out, we, they are phenomenal with their pairing their wines and making it a part of the whole experience. But before we get to that, do me a favor and give me kind of like a verbal visual to our guests of where the restaurant is, how you're set up. And I know you've got the patio opening soon too, right? Soon, right, uh, so the end of the month, the end of the month. So let everybody know kind of what you're So we have, uh, we're, in, we're in Jamestown, which is a Canonicus Island, which is right, if you are traveling from the mainland, you hit Jamestown and then it's, go over the big great, bridge yeah. uh, to Newport. Um, so it's a great place to stop in the, you know, if you're not going to fight the, uh, all the, the parking and all the craziness of Newport if you just want dinner. <laughs> uh, you can easily park in front of our restaurant and have a, have a nice meal. And our patio will be opening soon. It basically doubles the size of our restaurant. That's so, what uh, I was going to say, because when I've been on the patio, it's, mm -hmm. it seems just as big as the inside. It is, and there's another nook upstairs, the bridge bar, as we call it, that has a deck, which you can have the, the dining room menu uh, in there, as well as the... Uh, as, you know, as well as a drink or little tapas, we, as we do too. So now, are you? Is it open year round? We are open year round. We close a little bit. Saying. We close a little bit. Yes, and in, uh, in January, February for some renovations this year. But basically, we, we try and give it a go for the whole year. And I think that that's a, to, to your credit because that's amazing. People are looking for that. There's always this thing that people are still looking to get to Jamestown to get to Newport in that yes. area to do it. We're and very I think grateful. you guys weren't you? Were you in Newport Restaurant Weeks? Did you participate in that? We do. We do. Okay, we participate. Uh, yeah, since the since the beginning, we're open six years. Now. Yeah, I thought I remember seeing that and Discover Newport does a great job with that event in the, in the winter time. So you got a good visual of the restaurant. It is very, very comfortable to go into. He's got a great team that he's had out there. I actually can say I've eaten on the patio twice last summer because I mm -hmm. enjoy being out there and having wine. But let's talk a little bit about your menu overall. Tell me what you brought today. So these are two two dishes that'll be that are on the dining room menu now currently. So it's white asparagus season. So we use uh, we just poach those quickly. We have caper berries and uh, Daniele prosciutto from oh, love that. from up in the north uh, up there. They do a fantastic job. I'll, I would put that up against any any European prosciutto. My God, yeah, that's amazing. very simple and and straightforward with an herb crema underneath. So and you got a I got a, there was a compliment that was given to me is that your picture your dishes are always picture perfect. Thank Everyone. You was complimenting that and I literally I got a message saying that his dishes are picture perfect and it's good look at all the good stuff you put out and they are and then what we got and here. then we've got then we've got yellow fin tuna with uh, with uh, micro mizuna and it's uh, tossed with uh, rhubarb and, and and it's pickled rhubarb so that's not pretty much we're leaving it untouched yeah I'll, I'll be devouring uh, both of these at the end of the segment sorry Taylor. we try to keep everything <laughs> focused and clean and focus on the ingredients that's really what we've done since the beginning and now and you, to your credit you've done a fantastic job all Congrats right. on that. Good. So you've got some really good, before we get to Mother's Day, and mm -hmm. th is this on the Mother's Day menu? Is yes, the these, okay. these will both, both be. Both yeah, we're okay, still good. working it out. We still have a, a few things we're, we're deciding on for before we put it up there. But uh, So actually, since we're there, let's talk about Mother's sure. Day. So for Mother's Day, is what are the hours that you're serving? 11.30 to 3. Oh, wow. Okay. We've got uh, we've got a little bit. We're about halfway to capacity at okay. this point. See, you so guys got to get in. moving. <laughs> get moving. Make these reservations. So 11.30 to 3. Right. And is it a la carte off the menu? It's a la carte off the menu. It's sort of a, a hybrid menu of uh, what we used to do for brunch, you know, the Benedict and, and a frittata and omelets and scrambled eggs, things like that. Okay. And then because we find after sort of 12, 31, people sort of transition into, into more lunch. Right. So we add some of the dinner menus like you see here. We'll have probably Dover Sole. We'll do uh, swordfish scallops, things things a little more hearty. And we'll have a we'll have a ribeye probably. Kind of thing. Uh, I would go just to be Something there. for everybody. <laughs> I'd go there just to go, not for Mother's right. Day. Even. So. <laughs> exactly. We've got some of the other great compliments and some of the things that I've enjoyed is that you tend to have wines that I can't find anywhere else. Mm -hmm. And I know that you've won a Wine Spectator Award yep. in Rhode Island. Um, and you guys, I think, were, was it two? Glass? We have the Two Glass Award, which is called the, the Best Award of Excellence, right. which I think is only five people in Rhode Island, in five restaurants Island. in the state that have that. Yeah, Wine Spectator is getting um, pickier and pickier yeah, about that yeah, thing, yeah, so yeah, they're doing cool. a good we're job. We're very honored to, to be a part of that no, group. No, that's my kind of thing. I like to go to those places. <laughs> so tell me about the wines you brought today. So I brought today. Shall I pour you a taste? Absolutely. So this, I think, will go... One will go with the food, the other will not, but it's fun to see. Yep. So this is, uh, we're featuring for Vintage Thursday, which I think we're going to talk yes, about a little bit. Yes, we definitely want to talk about little, that. little props Vintage for that. Uh, if you ask, so tomorrow, uh, tomorrow is Sicily, so we're going to do some Sicilian wines. Cheers. So cheers. Great. Thanks for having me. Of so uh, quickly, these are, these are two bottles that uh, I, I know for sure this is, I'm the only person that has this in the state, from uh, the Calcagno estate. Uh, this is their Etna Bianco, so we're up on Mount Etna. Uh, and this is the Caricante grape. All right, so you find it very, very um, mineral and bright and goes perfectly with, with Yeah, these I was going to say that would go awesome. Obviously, with as you know, the slam dunk with white asparagus is Grunerveltliner, but I figured we'd do No, Sicily but today, I think so this would go perfect. Tomorrow. 
right? Nice and bright, and you know, the Sicilian cuisine too. So know. where are you coming up with your thoughts and your originations of finding these wines? Is it Finding these, well, you know, I gotta say a lot, a lot of things come to me. Yeah. A lot of things I, you know, when I was a sommelier in New York, I, I was able to come across everything. Everybody wanted to show you everything. So a lot of times in Rhode Island, I'm asking importers or distributors, hey, can you get that producer well, and bring that your to me? So you were somebody in New York? Yeah, yeah, I was. Oh, as well really as being awesome. a chef in New York as well. So That's awesome. Well, that gives so you a fantastic bring it all together. So tomorrow night, we're doing, so this is another one. We can taste the red in a second. Yeah. Um, so t let's talk about this. Let's talk about sure. the Thursday event. Yeah. Because it's called um, Vintage Vintage, am I right? Vintage Thursday. Vintage Thursday. Okay. So let's talk about what those are. Let's give the audience a go. So we came up with this in uh, late last year. Uh, we said let's do something on Thursday night in the in the sort of down season. We have all this wonderful wine. Right. Some of the more obscure things like this, we're not selling nightly, and it's we're not always having these things on by the glass. Right. So we said this is a way to sort of open up interesting things, give a you know a, a little softer price on on those nights. But the important part is we're offering all of these wines we choose at, by the half glass, so you can taste three ounces. And then we pair some things off of our menu, and we offer a, a twenty-five dollar two-course menu. So, uh, you know, basically a dessert really? is optional. Uh, so you're basically so paying for an entree. Yeah. Menu. Twenty-five two-course menu with the wines that we chose from different regions. We've done Spain. We've done Billcart salmon last week. We did. Uh, Sicily, we've done champagne in general, so we were having fun with it. Yeah, so I put the picture up, I used your, your picture of the champagne because I thought it was a great picture and thinking of moms to celebrate, so I put that picture up on social media. Yes. So is it every Thursday? Every Thursday. So here's another great idea, gift so certificates, we'll, right? What, gift gift certificates, exactly, exactly. So you could get a gift certificate, go to dinner, get a gift certificate, slide it to mom, say this is first to come back Thursday and check out some wine. It's really, I'm trying to give really you some original night. thoughts here, some good thoughts. To and you never know who's going to show up. We have That's a lot true, of industry yeah. people or sometimes winemakers. Uh, coming in, you know, and, and, and you're also allowed to bring a bottle if you like. So let's say tomorrow... You can you bring were, your own bottle? If you're, tomorrow is the Sicily theme. Okay. If you have a bottle of Sicilian wine, uh, there you go. bring okay. it in, open it up, and as long as you're willing to share, there's no corkage. I think that's a phenomenal idea. It's fun. Yeah, I it's think fun. that's a really fun idea. So, what time does it start on Thursday? So, uh, that's the other part. It's very casual. It's not a Flowing start around. time like a wine dinner. This Perfect. is come at 5, come at 7, come at 8.30. Uh, you know, taste all the wines, taste two of the wines. T do the food, don't do the food. That's it's fantastic. very, very easy. That's awesome. That's the fact that you do it every week is even e better. Exactly. So that's another awesome, awesome, great gift idea. So, we're not only getting the food part covered, we're taste getting the gift red. ideas here covered for you. I'm going to get some major kudos from your moms all after this. So, now we're also on Etna. This is, this is from... Uh, Pietra Dolce, which I haven't seen this producer outside of Italy until about two years ago. So this is at Neroso, which is arguably more famous, oh the God, Reds. Rome is amazing. Yes. Nerello Mascalese is the grape. Look, and he's even got the accent out for it. I lived there for a little while, so. You lived there for a little yes, while? Yes, yes, yes. we got to get in more into this background back stuff in, with you. Back in the 90s, I lived, really? in, I lived in Florence and then traveled uh, oh throughout Sicily and Puglia. And oh, my God, I love Florence. Yeah, it was great. I've been there a lot. So we got Vintage Thursdays. We talked about this great wine award that you're getting and as, so with the wines that you carry there's got to be other things that you're entering other wine contests doing this thing you, you guys have got a great passion of carrying this yeah on. we do we do we've had uh, we have a great list if i say so myself and uh we actually just uh, heard about another award that we'll be winning that i can't really talk about uh, where it's from but it's coming out next month which we're really proud about which is a national award too so, so there's only so cool. many national wine awards so now yeah. you now now if he's going to get two awards you're really <laughs> in good shape that's fantastic so that's pretty cool and we got you know, and great food going on right now with Alex. So yeah, and Alex just later. joined yeah. Real Life, so, so Alex fun. is going to be coming in at the end to help us welcome Chef too. But you guys, you and Alex also have various events going on, various things that you support. Yep, exactly. And one of them is what we're going to talk about with Alex, but then do you have, an, there's another one. Yeah, right? there is one, if I can yeah, show you that, nice. maybe. The Drive 4 is Stage 4. It's a, uh, one of our really good friends uh, has uh, metastatic breast cancer. And uh, so we tried to create a little, um, a little fundraiser um, with the Metaviver team, uh, and th this co coincides with a uh, with a road race that the, that these folks have been doing. So really? they're bringing all these fancy cars yeah, down the to of the show car. off on Sunday morning. We're going to have a kickoff event. You can learn something, donate, you know, and it's for a good cause and uh, have you know. Drive for stage four. Drive for stage four. Exactly. So it's literally drive four stage. Exactly. So and that's where you can buy tickets, uh, so which will... So I'm going to make sure that I put to. this up, and I've already... Really great. Yeah, and I already tagged the chef on a bunch of my stuff, so after the show today, I want to get this information out there, because I know that I've seen a lot of people that are very supportive of these causes, and I have a great affiliation with Chloridema Breast Cancer mm -hmm. <coughs> yes. Resource Foundation. Sure. So these are the types of causes that it's nice to see. <coughs> wow. 
is industry people get together. Yeah. Wow, so we'll we'll have a, it'll be a nice event. We already have about seventy five people uh, signed up. So we we'll, we're serving appetizers from the menu and some really deep cellar wines, and awesome. so it's going to be fun. And if it's good weather, we can <clears throat> mingle outside a little bit as well. So yeah, come down and check it out. All right. So I'm losing my voice for a second there. We'll Should I back. take over? <laughs> yeah, I know. Really, <laughs> it's a good thing I'm bringing Alex in on the end. Taylor, I think I might need some water. <laughs> All right. So we covered the opening of the restaurant. Wow. Sorry, excuse me. That doesn't ever happen. Little we covered the opening Sicilian of the patio coming help. up. I know, the Sicilian Reds should help me out. We also covered the great event that he's got going on and two ideas. So you got the idea of not only making a reservation to join him for brunch into the lunch hours, mm -hmm. <clears throat> but also gift certificates. Yep. Wow, excuse me. And you can come, you know, and then soon the patio will be open and we'll have, we have our pizza bar outside and uh, we're, we're going to be cooking off of a, a big green egg this year and doing a lot of grilling the out front. green egg, out what front. is that? Oh, that's the, uh, it's from, it was uh, built, built in Atlanta. It's a big, beautiful grill, ceramic So you call it the grill the green egg? It, no, it's, that's the that's name. That's what it is? That's the name brand. Really? They're, they're good supporters of us, so. Thank you, Tyler. There you go. Excuse me, that's weird. So we're going to have an extra fun, <coughs> extra fun year. Mm changing it up a little bit. I know, it's different. All right, so Chef is going to hang around a little bit for me because we're going to bring his chef to cuisine, Alex, and at the end when we talk to Chef 2. But I want to make sure that I put the information up there. I definitely will to support that awesome event that he's doing. The Thursdays are a great gift certificate idea. But also, as the chef's saying, you get, you're starting to get full towards a later hour of mm -hmm. reservations yeah, now. So exactly. you well, want to make sprinkled out through. Let's sprinkled out through the thing. Will the patio be opening up for Mother's Day? Uh, or? No, it'll be after. Okay, it'll be, be after, after Mother's Day. Okay. When you do the Thursdays thing, that's just a mm -hmm. quick question before you let it go. When you do the Thursdays, does the patio come into play or is everything inside for the we, we're, we're considering what we're going to do for the summer. We might actually, you know, put maybe put Vintage Thursday to bed uh, for the summer because it just gets really, really busy. Hectic, yeah. And, you know, if you imagine there's a lot of little, white, little glasses of wine going on and stuff like that, so we might bring it back in the fall. But we might do themed, themed nights and things like that, still focus on Sicily <coughs> or whatnot, but uh, maybe do it once a month. Awesome. That's, that's the thought. And I did have one last question. This sure. is a question that I tend to ask the chefs is that people always ask me, what are some of your, and it doesn't be one thing, but what are some of your favorite things to cook in the kitchen, things that you really enjoy to make? Oh, God. I mean, I like, I, I love soups. I like heartier things. You know, really? I sort of dance, I sort of dance, dance sometimes in between, uh, you know, the ver really rustic Italian things. Like we have, you know, the, the kale soup that we're going to be doing actually for another event soon. Awesome. The Portuguese kale soup and things like that. Ribolita uh, from time to time, we do things like that. Um, and so then, you know, pastas and risottos, we're having fun with all these and things. And you had such great pictures of some of your pastas Thank out there, you. too. And a lot of your stuff is local. You're sourcing as much we're as we can. We're sourcing as much as we can local. You know yeah. how it is around here. It gets very cold in New England. But right. uh, So we like to keep, you know, let's say 80% of the fish we do local. And then we do some special things that are, you know, like Lubina sea bass from Veda La Palma in, in Spain. Or we'll do Dover Sole the same. Or we'll do uh, Ora King Salmon once in a while. So in talking about the things that you prefer to cook, or not prefer to cook, but things you really enjoy to cook, is your influence constantly evolving? I mean, your background is amazing. We so are, is and we collaborate a lot, you know, in the kitchen with Alex and, and working on everybody's, it's a group effort, you know, everyone has different, uh, brings things to the table from different tours around the country or the yeah. world, and, and we focus on what's available and then make, make a beautiful menu out of that. Well, I love it. He's in a great location. They're doing great things thank out you. there. Being involved in the event last week, the event you have coming up, thank you for keeping that mindset and supporting the community. So we appreciate it. And I, my voice is back, so I'll be having more of that okay. wine when I get off the air. <laughs> Sorry <laughs> about that, Chef. Rick. Thank you for coming in. Fantastic. All right. And then All right. you're going to have you and Alex hang out. And then okay. Taylor, you want to help me out here? We're off here. You're going to want to try the white, Taylor. <laughs> the chef is that's amazing. I'll give you guys this. Awesome. Put this one down here. All right, so there we go. All right, so next we're going to get into some Italian, and I want to talk about the great traditions and the length of time that this restaurant's been going on because it's certainly an icon in Rhode Island. So I'd like to welcome in Chef, Ra uh, Chef Ralph, who has been phenomenal, phenomenal presence out in Johnson over there. So we're going to welcome him in from Luigi's and we'll talk about what he's got going on for Mother's Day and also his family and their traditions. Chef, if you're ready, we'll bring you right in. Hi. You, oh my God. Look at this. Oh, look at the shrimp. Hi, Rick. Hey, Chef. How are you? Good, my friend. Look at these. Oh, I'm in loving this. How are you? I'm well, thank Thanks for making the time Thanks to come and join me. us, of course. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, we're talking. Look well, at we this. We have to make room for dessert. Oh, we'll make room. Literally Literally and slide that in the back right? there. We're not done yet. I still got your favorite part. Oh. My favorite part. Oh, okay. I like my favorite part. 
want to put that here. I want to put this one here. Vitaly, I'm definitely going to be picking some of these up throughout this to show off because this is amazing. So slide right in here for you. So one of the big things before we get to, oh, yes, look at this. Hold on to one. Yep. There we go. I'm going to put this one right here. The table is always big enough. Don't you worry. I got the glasses. Don't you worry. Thanks, Taylor. All right. So one of the big, big things that was out there is you guys have become this iconic part of not just Johnston, but Rhode Island as a whole, because you've been around so long. That's flattering. I mean, Thank and you. And it's not, it's not an easy thing in this business, as I'm sure you know, <laughs> to make it. You're this, the third or fourth generation of the family involved? It's actually second generation. Second generation. Yeah, okay. I do it with, uh, I'm involved in the business with my two sisters okay. and uh, my brother-in-laws, my wife, uh, my, our parents, Luigi and Antoinette, hence Luigi's, yeah. uh, opened in 1971. Wow. Uh, so 40... 40 Seven years? years? Forty-seven years. Forty-seven wow. years. My sisters and I grew up in it. Um, you're working side by side in the family. We all, we all uh, got degrees in different things, but yeah. came back into the family business. Well, thank you to you and your sisters for continuing it because there are thousands and thousands of Rhode Islanders that are very thankful. Oh, that's that flattering. So that's thank flat you very much. Thank you very much. No, I'd like to, it's, it, and it's a big, big thing. I mean, we can, I call them legacy restaurants at this point to be able to get to that you know, that stage to be there. And you've kept on just by viewing this, some amazing, amazing tradition. So do me a favor, paint us kind of verbal visual of where you're located and the, you know, how the restaurant's set up for Okay, us. so Luigi's is in the heart of Johnston, 1359 Hartford Avenue. We're at the intersection of Atwood Avenue and um, Hartford Avenue, right next door to the Johnston Town Hall. We're in a strip mall where we've been since 1986. We have... Uh, quite a bit of square footage these days. We have the, the restaurant that sits about 125 people with the bar where you can sit down and enjoy this fair. We have um, Luigi's Gourmet Express, which is, has 36 feet of deli cases filled with homemade pastries, prepared foods, soups, sauces, sandwiches, pizza, we do a lot. Oh my God, you do a real lot. We do a lot. So that's what I want. I kind of want to get that distinguishing between the Express and the restaurant. So is the Express where everything can come in and they can pick from those cases to go? Or is it kind of a catering aspect as well? Well, we do both. So you can certainly come in and shop in the Express and it's uh, whole meal uh, replacement food. It, it's, um, there are cases are filled with Italian and American themed comfort food. Stick to your ribs, comfort food. Love that. And... Uh, you know, we have items like turkey shepherd's pie and beef shepherd's, beef shepherd's pie. We, we do rabi. We do chicken masala, chicken franchise, chicken parmesan that you can come in and all buy All that, by they the can pound. take that to go? All, you can buy it fresh out of the cases. It's all made fresh every day. Wow. Uh, we use our grandmother's recipes for soups. Our chicken soup is, is if, I, if I'm going to say it, it's a little bit famous in no, Rhode I Island. I was going to say, it's got amazing reviews online. It's credited with curing the common cold. Well, I'm not sure if that's true, but we'll, we'll take it. I'll take that. <laughs> actually, actually, I'm going to remember that because I don't know what's going on in my voice. Today. I have a lot of customers who come in and say, oh, my mother's sick and we need your chicken soup. And <laughs> we're very grateful that they think of us that way. No, and I think that's fantastic. So let's talk about, you get talked about what's on the Express. Uh, let's talk about what you brought here because I'm in like awe right now and ready to just dive into something. So tell okay. me what you brought here today. Well, the first thing I brought, uh, seeing how it's such a beautiful afternoon and, and feels like summer's around the corner, this is our Insulata Fresca which is a mix of arugula and baby spinach. It's in a orange citrus vinaigrette. Wow. It has uh, julienne beets, sliced oranges, blueberries and strawberries. It's got shaved fennel and um, some goat cheese. Oh my God, that's like a perfect meal for me. I see the red beets in there, I'm loving that. That's like a perfect meal. And this is on both menus. It's in the menu for sit down in the restaurant or you can get it to go out of the Gourmet Express. Oh, this is the Insulata Fresca. That's awesome. And you can get that top of grilled chicken or pan seared salmon, some grilled shrimp. Oh yeah. This is uh, one of our signature dishes. Um, these are our uh, giant lobster ravioli. Patali, can you see that? Because that is amazing. Oh my God. So our lobster... Those are massive, chef. They are big. They, we actually use a, an empanada mold. Really? To make them, yeah. So um, they're filled with lobster meat. Uh, lift it up. I know. I want to lift it up. <laughs> My producer's telling me to lift it up. Okay. So this, th you make these in-house? We make them in-house because I couldn't find a lobster ravioli. It, you know, a lot the of places, a lot of vendors sell them to restaurants. But, but to what I, you wanted. I couldn't find one with big chunks of lobster those meat in it. Awesome. And those are Rigotta, so mascarpone, Asiago, Romano. Asiago's in there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
That's a, and it's in a brandied pink cream sauce, garnished with a couple of shrimp. Perfect. It's a lovely dish. Great. What we got up front here? Uh, homemade, handmade pappardelle bolognese. It's a sausage bolognese with a little shredded carrot, a little caramelized Come onion, on. and simmered in, the, in our handmade pappardelle that we make. I'm going to be eating good tonight. As much day. as I say I'd like to have the salad after I got the show, I'm diving into one of these <laughs> today. As much as I'd like to say that, the hot day, but these look amazing. Of course, a nice dollop of fresh ricotta cheese. Beautiful. And that is our interpretation of carbonara. So our homemade fettuccine carbonara in a light cream sauce, uh, peas, a crispy prosciutto, and that is a six-minute panko egg. Yeah, the egg, you got it sliced perfectly in there. Tell you got to see this. I don't know if I'm holding this up the right way, but look at that. That is perfect. My God. Awesome job. All right, and then we're going to get to the wines in one second, but let's talk about what we got hiding back here with these desserts because this looks amazing. Okay, so these are all, uh, again, we're a 100% scratch restaurant. Yep. We don't sell anything that we buy. We, we don't sell anything that we don't make. These are all baked fresh in-house. This is our lobster tail. Yep. So w for our lobster tail, we combine um, pastry cream, our homemade cannoli cream, and whipped cream. Mix those three, teams, th those three creams, creams together, together and uh, fill it in a lobster tail. And that's a big piece too. Look at the size yeah. of that. Our, our homemade cannoli with uh, dipped in chocolate with some, some pistachio. Love These that. are berry cheesecake towers. And that so is that a tower. Yeah. So mm -hmm. fresh cheesecake, uh, strawberries, blueberries, a little gel, a little whipped cream. This mm -hmm. is a triple chocolate mousse tower. Milk chocolate mousse, white chocolate mousse, dark chocolate mousse, wow. a little bit of ganache, some whipped cream. My wife would be in heaven. This is something new we played around with last week. This is a little cannoli cake. So loving this. Chocolate cake, uh, cannoli cream, and uh, some chocolate ganache. And why not a little cannoli on top? Absolutely. And classic eclairs. Perfect. Made, made in house. The shells are made in house. The pastry cream is made in house. That's unbelievable. The ganache I think that is that's made absolutely in house. Awesome. We, have a, we have a big pastry case as soon as you walk in the front door. So all of this is in the Express? All of this is in the Express and, of course, available, available in the dining room. Available for dinner as well? Yeah. Oh, my God. That's awesome. So with, right. the, with the pastry case being in the front door, folks often decide what they're having for dessert before, I was gonna they, say, that'd before be the, they sit I'd be down. <laughs> I yes. would be in the same boat as yes. that. All right. So you've got a great wine list. You have a great bar. You have a great, I mean, 125 seats you said it is for the restaurant? Uh, the whole restaurant, the whole yeah. Restaurant. So about 15 great. seats at the bar. 15 seats at the bar. And, but you've got a lot of great things that are pairing up nice with what you've got going on on your menu. So when you brought some beautiful wines. So I'm going to pour us a little bit of this Pinot Reggio to try. But tell me about your program with the bars. I, I mean, this is something that's ongoing and you evolve to try to get wines and selections that are not just popular but also match up to your cuisine, I'm sure. Yes. So um, I will be honest with you. My wife, Carrie is our sommelier. She's our wine buyer. Oh my gosh. And she, she's, she has the true passion about, and Carrie's, kind of uh, Carrie's a bargain shopper by nature. But what, what she likes to do is she likes to find diamonds in the rough. I like that too. So, you know, we keep our, cheers. We keep our wine list around $35 and under. Really? Yeah. And we change it quite a bit. Um, so this is the Torricella Pinot Grigio. It's 91 points. It's produced by one of the biggest uh, wine producers in the uh, Veneto region. Oh, it's delicious, especially for a day like today. It's absolutely delicious. And that would go great with the lobster ravioli or the insulata fresca. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely the salad as well, for sure. So this has become something that we try to get people educated on and a lot of the dishes that you have are very traditional i'm sure dating back to your old family recipes these are a lot of these are grandma's recipes grandma's recipes yeah so when someone's coming in and, and i know that you've been there in an icon for such a long time when someone's coming in that they're not familiar with certain styles of, of these dishes your team's able to explain talk people through them that kind of thing of what's ingredients how they're made because that's a lot of times that's what i want people to do not only encourage on wine education but food to make sure you're trying new foods that you haven't tried before yeah, absolutely. Our wait staff can talk you through all of our dishes. Uh, you know, we'd be happy to come out and speak to you, too, out of the kitchen. Um, there you go. All right, so now we covered this amazing menu. Tell us what you got going on for Mother's Day, because I'm in awe over here. Well, Mother's Day, uh, we expect about 750 of our closest friends to come. Wow. Um, so we're busy all day. We have seating starting at 12 o'clock, going right through 7. 
Uh, bookings uh, just about every half hour. On so it's a la carte. They can come in and order any of these wonderful items. Yes. Um, most of these will be on the Mother's Day menu. We do do a, special a, menu. a limited menu okay, given so the perfect. amount of volume that Absolutely. we get. Absolutely. So it's, it's, it's all the highlights from our menu, the most uh, popular items. And you said going 12 Day. to 7 o'clock? Yes. Okay. So I brought up to with my last couple of guests about the ideas of gift certificates as well. And I'm sure that's something you guys have. People can purchase uh, gift certificates. We sell gift certificates on our website. On the website? Yes. Even better. There you go. So you don't have to make a trip. You can buy them ahead of time. Yes. Again, look like a hero and have the <laughs> gift certificate all taken <laughs> care of for mom. That's awesome. So, Chef, you've been at this a long time. You grew up in the family with this. What are some of your favorite things to prepare, favorite things that you enjoy personally to make in the kitchen? Well, I love working with dough. I find that somehow satisfying and relaxing. Nice. Um, so I love baking bread. I love making pizza. I love making fresh pasta. I, I don't know why making fresh pasta is, is relaxing to me, but mm. I enjoy it. I like starting with, um, you know, your some flour, some water, eggs, a little bit of salt, and you can end up with this. It's amazing. So I love, the, I love the basic elements of it and how simple it is. Well, and I got to tell you, again, going back to the traditions, is that being an Italian descent myself and knowingly appreciating this, it brings back a lot of good memories. So I'm glad that you've kept it going, you and your sisters. And congratulations again. You've kept a lot of Rhode Islanders happy. So Thank you so much. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. So you got Mother's Day ideas. You got gift certificate ideas. You know what a wonderful menu he's got. There's a lot of things coming up over the next couple months, graduation parties, baptisms, showers, all these things, visit the Express to check all the stuff. And can they come in, can guests come in and kind of like get an idea to talk to you about placing a big order or you know, the right amounts to order, that kind of stuff? Absolutely. We are, okay. We're catering coordinators are, are there on the phone or in the shop all the time. That's, it's, catering is a big part of what we do. Perfect. We do small parties where you're, you're just bringing one dish to an a la carte, to almost like a, a potluck. Yeah. Or if you're feeding, we, we fed 500 people the other day, so... 500 people? 500, yes. That's amazing. Yes. So you've got a lot of great opportunities. So if you're also just going to this, if you're willing that you're going to cook at home or have mom over, you don't really have to cook. You can kind of have the chef help you here, pick out some amazing things and take them back to the house with you. So you got a lot of great choices. So I'm really glad that you came in and joined me today. It's greatly appreciated. Thanks for having it's me. It's my pleasure. Excellent. So we're going to take a quick one-minute break here while we get ready to set up to do our next guest who's going to be Skyping in. So bear with us for just one minute. We'll be right back with you. All right, and we're back. So as promised, the last guest that they're going to close the segment out with is Chef Two. Now, he has been on 
the top chef, but he also has some great connections in Rhode Island. Chef, thank you for making the time to join me. I know you're really busy out there on the West Coast. You've been running around, and you're three hours behind us, which I'm kind of jealous about, to be honest with you. But thank you for, <laughs> make, thank you for making the time to join us. Of course, thank you for having me. I'm super excited. You know, um, I have a few friends in Rhode Island. They tell me how amazing Rhode Island is. So I can't wait to visit for my first time uh, next May. So I mean, this, um, next week. So this is going to be your first visit to Rhode Island? It's going to be my first visit. You're kidding. All right. Long so, up, my friend. so to thank your friend, I'm going to let someone that's here surprise you and stop in so you guys can talk about why you're coming here. Then I'm going to come back and you and I are going to talk about Top Chef and some of your great stuff you got going on. All right. So Alex is here, the chef de okay. cuisine for James Stuffers. Alex, come on in. All right, get over here. You're going to take over for one minute so you can tell everybody what's going on here. Can you see me? Mr. Yep, you can Dale. see you. Hey. <laughs> Alex, look right over there. The Jeff, Alex, how you doing? Good, how are you? I miss you, my brother. Yeah, uh, I miss you I'm too. Super one super week sweet. away. <laughs> um, so I guess they want us to talk about the dinner that we have coming up, uh, which is on May 11th and May 12th. Um, unfortunately, uh, Saturday, May 12th is sold out. Um, and there are still tickets available for uh, Friday, May 11th, um, a handful of them. Um, so if you want to start off too with the uh, the pop-ups that you're doing around everywhere right now and you know basically how we came to you know come together on this. So currently, well let me introduce myself, my name is Tu David Fu, uh, formerly Top Chef Season 15 um, and I'm currently doing a traveling dinner series all across the nation uh, collaborating with chefs and restaurants to celebrate food. Um, I cook specifically Asian food so I invite my chef colleagues in the network that I have across the nation to cook and celebrate this, this, this concept. Uh, most importantly so, I'm coming to Rhode Island May, uh, May 11th and 12th to team up with Alex over at Jamestown Fish and we're going to cook together, not just for myself but two other chefs. Um, it's, a, uh, it's definitely a, uh, a reunion of a sense. We used to co all cook together at Ocarella in San Francisco. Um, they were part of the brigade that helped earn Ocarella two Michelin stars. I came in a little later after that. And with that amazing vibe, having Chef Suzette Gresham at the Realms teaching us and coaching us, we had an amazing, amazing vibe. And this is a great opportunity for us to reconnect, have the people of Rhode Island, the residents of Rhode Island, um, kind of taste this amazing meal that we're going to curate. Yeah, I mean, I feel that this is a once-in-a-lifetime thing that we'll do, and we invite everyone in Boston and Providence and Rhode Island and Jamestown to come and join us. So $125 will get you nine courses curated uh, by four amazing chefs, I think, all together and all experiences together. I think there'll be a total of about 12 Michelin stars. <laughs> all of our ex experiences across the board. Um, and, yeah, if you're not there, then... You're missing out. Chef Alex? Great. Yeah, uh, so for anybody that is interested, you can go on Facebook and you can look up uh, Chef Hawker Center um, and go to events. Um, and also we'll have something up on the Go Local Prov Facebook possibly uh, so that you can buy tickets directly through online. It's uh, 7 to 10 p.m. And again, we still have tickets available uh, for the Friday, May 11th. Um, I think it'll be a great thing. Uh, as Tu said, we all cook together at uh, Two Michelin Star Ocarello in San Francisco. And um, just, uh, you know, through all the, the years working together and traveling across the country, we've been really fortunate to, um, you know, just remain such good friends uh, no matter where we went. Uh, so we thought it'd be a really fun thing to just get together and, um, you know, do something great, especially in Rhode Island. Yep, and then um, just to add to that, uh, the meal will be a seafood-themed dinner, paying homage to Rhode Island, of course. And also, if you guys want to follow us on social media, it's at Chef's Hawker Center um, on Instagram. And my personal will be at chef 2 david Fu. Perfect. If you guys want to go to the website, it's uh, www.chefshawkercenter.com. Thank oh. you. Thank you to Alex for bringing you on. So now we're going to get to some other fun stuff. So Alex, I appreciate you stepping in. Make me look better. He's all clean. I'm in like, like my summer gear here, and he's in his chef's clothes. So <laughs> it's, it's actually hot here today, chef. We actually got up to 90 here in Rhode Island today. So hopefully when you come to join us, it'll be just as warm. So, so 
I want to talk to you about some of the fun experiences that you had just last season. I mean, you know, you were just on the last season of Top Chef, and how did, how did you get into this? I mean, I saw great awards out there about you in the Chronicle and being named, you know, I think it was, you know, a chef to watch, that kind of stuff. But how did you get into this to the point where you ended up on that show? Um, it's It's been about a 13, 13 years of career cooking, as I call it. So, so it's been a... It's been a, it's been a, it's been a crazy journey. Um, I count my blessings, um, but at the same time, um, you know, to tell you the truth, I don't know how I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the best advice I could give anyone is that if you in, truly enjoy and love what you do, it will resonate all throughout, no matter who you interact with, no matter what platforms you're on, no matter where you cook, no matter what show you're on, what have you. Um, but I definitely have to say it's, it's blessings from above, blessings from my parents, um, them being there for me, my community, my mentors, my teachers, my friends like Alex, um, mentors like Suzette Gresham. Um, you know, if anything, my successes is a reflection of the community of people who've supported me. Well, um, and likewise. Well, that's so. nice that you recognize them because that is that's an important part of how people get into this and it plays into your support base, you know, lifts you up. So when you got on the show, when you accepted, were you, were you were surprised? Were you, did you look forward to it? Because I've had so many people that tell me that they've gone through these experiences, made it on, and they had no idea that they thought that they were going to get there, let alone make it as far as they could on the show. And I, I mean, you, you want to, I saw that you had won one of the, the, the challenges at the beginning. So what was it like to get on the show? Funnily enough, um, everything kind of came all at once. You know, when it rains, it pours, but when it's sunny outside, like, <laughs> you know, the sun, the sun beams pretty hard. Um, a few months prior, I was, a, I, I was awarded with a Rising Star Chef from the, uh, the Chronicle. Right. Um, I'm sorry, not a few months, a few weeks prior. A few and weeks, then okay. A few weeks prior. Um, and then shortly after that, I get a phone call from Bravo saying that I was going to be on Top Chef. Um, yeah. You know, usually people apply for six, seven years. I applied once. Wow. And they signed on. So I was really, really lucky. Very, very fortunate. Um, uh, the experience, once again, a blessing. Uh, it's, it's, you know, if I could do it all over again, I definitely would. Uh, it, it was a career changing opportunity for me, especially when you get on a big network like Bravo. Right. It's, we, we tend to forget that the American economy is a global economy. So anything that happens, the American economy get mag gets magnified. Um, ten times over because it shows in Europe, it shows in China, it shows in very South true. America. Yeah, very true. So, um, all those once again, I count my blessings and I try to take those opportunities to um, be responsible and purposeful. So. so, how was it to work with some of those guys like Calicchio and some of the other celebrity chefs that were a part of it? I mean, it seems very fast paced, but how were they to work with in person? Um, watching them on TV, obviously, I'm. Um, I'm in awe, and you know, in the very first few days, I I was in, you know, I, I was starstruck. But you know, getting to work with them and know them more, you start to realize they're just human, and they have imperfections and they have perfections. And you know, they were at some po moment, a point in the career, they were in my shoes and my position. Right. So, if anything, working with them was empowering for me. Um, it made me feel that being in their position is achievable. So. And, and um, I think that it, it seems now, in, in talking about being starstruck and awestruck, there's people now that look at you in a similar mold that because of what you did and what you were able to accomplish. And now it seems to me from what I've seen on Facebook and the stuff that you're creating and by coming to Rhode Island and being a part of these great events, you're kind of paying that forward is what it seems like now. And you've, you, So tell us what, what's in store for you next because it, it seems that that's what you're doing and it's, it's to your credit. Definitely. Thank you so much. So um, for this year, and just to be very uh, transparent, I don't have a restaurant at the moment. My aspirations for this year and next year is to really focus on um, expanding the brand, if you will, mm -hmm. um, spreading the message, talking about Asian food, talking about my Vietnamese culture, my parents. Tying into that, um, I have a docu-series that will be coming out soon. Nice. Partner CamFest, San Francisco Chronicle, KQD, PBS. It's called First Kitchen. Um, we are in the infant style stage. We have the first episode done, which we aired May 20th. Okay. So if you guys are in the San Francisco Bay Area, um, follow me on Instagram. I'll give you guys up the details. Um, and hopefully, you know, with appropriate funding, we'll be able to have a full series and hopefully multiple seasons. So, so that's where the aspirations are at, you know, pivoting over to 
from chef to media. So I think that's great. So will you be able to, that series that's going on in San Francisco, is it something people will also be able to watch online? Will there be a link that you can provide out to your fans to be able to watch it online? Definitely will be. Um, they will be, our, to speak to that specifically would be premature. Mm -hmm. But once again, if you guys follow me on social media, I'll make sure you guys have the all proper outlets to watch. It's going to be an amazing show. Yeah. So, so, Chef, today's segment that I did, I had some great people in, and you know the, the chefs from Jamestown Fish, but I had some other great chefs in, and we were concentrated on telling people to, you know, make your plans, prepare for Mother's Day, honor your mom, and get out there. So from your perspective, I want to ask you a question about Mother's Day. What are some of the unique <laughs> dishes that you prepare that you would encourage people to try that they could, you know, go out and try for Mother's Day to do? Um, so just uniquely so, I am first generation Vietnamese American and my mother cooked Vietnamese food in California with a lack of Vietnamese ingredients. So with those challenges alone, she created a cuisine all on her own um, out of necessity to feed us. Uh, one of my favorite dishes that my mom makes is a very simple rice noodle dish that's dressed in coconut milk, fish sauce, a bunch of herbs from her garden, and then banana flour. Wow. Yeah, it's called bum yam. Uh, it's not very typical. It's not what you see at your Vietnamese deli or your Vietnamese fall shop. But if there's any suggestions, once again, you guys follow me on social media. I can provide you guys with recipes and um, some recipes and tips to how to execute it. Awesome. That's awesome. Well, it sounds like you got a lot of great things coming up. Will your social media also tell us about like these different pop-ups you have coming on? Because I hope that this trip to Rhode Island is so successful. It'll be the, you know, the first of many that you'll come back to see us. So. Definitely on my social media, once again, it's at chef 2 david Fu, and that's specifically for Instagram. Um, it's the same handle for Twitter, Periscope as well. And I'll, if and you I'll guys tag follow you on everything, there, so I'll make sure people get that as well. Thank you. If you guys follow me there, they'll provide you with a link on uh, Chef Taco Center and all the different di dining opportunities that you guys will have to attend. Fantastic. Um, no well, matter where I'm in the country. Well, Thanks. we look forward to welcoming you to Rhode Island. I'm glad that Alex has the connection to you, and we're glad that you're coming to our state to support the initiatives and things that are going on here. So we look forward to seeing you just in a very short time, like a week and a half or so. And thank you for making the time today to, you know, to Skype in from California to join us. We greatly appreciate it. Of course. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. Have a great day. You too. Thanks. All right. So as we get to close out here, we've had some great guests today. The chef was fantastic. I'm Rick Simone. Thank you for joining me on The Taste. I look forward to seeing you next Wednesday.